Richard Stackhouse and Smith, I sir, I want to thank you for, for, I'm almost crying in front of you. I don't thank you. With, no, I do thank you for having me here. <laughs> Up until my mid-30s or early 30s, I had was a, uh, an architect, I designed and built buildings. I lost everything, including my fiance at the time, and a friend of mine said, are you ready to meet girls? And I said, well, what do you mean? He said, they're doing this big play. Why don't you try out for it? You know, you're kind of dramatic. And I did, and I got a, a fairly large role, you know, my first audition, and I met a lot of girls. And um, I had an epiphany on stage. I said, man, this is really what I want to do. This is, like, architecture was beautiful, but acting was alive. and. Damn, man, and I knew I could investigate lots of uh, different kinds of people and different places and different periods, and I thought it was fun, you know, it was fun. So I, tra I trained for many, 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 many years, uh, for probably five years, six years. I trained at different places, but primarily with the Actors Studio and Shelley Winters. You know. Warren Robertson, my very first teacher, who taught me to, to do emotional recall and cement a sense of memory, and, and then Harvey to spend time sharing houses with Harvey and being his right arm and watching him work. And then I've learned by doing. I am always <laughs> really enjoy being able to say that Miss Piggy was my first leading lady. What an experience to start out of the gate, you know, doing the Muppets Take Manhattan and to actually work opposite Miss Piggy with <laughs> it, was, it was just something else. Harvey and I were doing a film together when we first met and um, I was playing a tough guy. He was a, a motel owner, and he, we had this slot that we looked through. And he's outside, and I'm looking at the, through the slot at him, and when the camera's turned on him, I'm very serious, and I make sure I do my job with Harvey. And we have maybe one or two takes for him. And then it turns around, and the camera's looking at me through the slot of the motel door, and he's going like this to me. <laughs> it took me 11 takes, I'll never forget it, to do the darn thing. I could have killed him, but I love him. That was a very funny moment when I look back on it. And then um, X-Men, uh, I get a lot of play out of that, but most important is how profound it was for me. Uh, it took me uh, four days to, to wash the grief out of my soul. I played... Uh, Someone was in a concentration camp and they were taking our son away and I was headed to the gas chambers. That was the scene. There were 50 extras in front of me, 100 maybe behind. They were all complaining there's rain machines going and uh, it was hot and we, we were soaking wet. And everyone was complaining how they wanted to go home and uh, watch TV and get something to eat. And I couldn't help but think that those Polish Jews wanted to, to live. They were headed to their death. They didn't care about TV or. Oh, and I just, it just, it was just. I think what inspires me the most is that um, we, as actors and storytellers, we have the privilege to breathe life into literature. You know, to celebrate art as a, you know, a recording, a chronicling of the human condition. I think that's inspiring to participate in that and to participate in that. I would say the uh, hardest part is continuing to find work, being self-motivated, uh, not being lazy. Sometimes, you know, depression can set in, you know, for, for whatever reasons, you know, life will hit you, you know, loss of friends or, you know, disappointments or um, uh, financial problems or health problems or whatnot. And, you know, things that can knock you down and you got to get up and, you know, you, you but I, I know people would, I can say this sincerely, I know a lot of people would give their right arm to have the career I have. You know, I've been done, in, since I'm 32, I've done well over 100 film and television projects in about 60, 70 places. It's a pretty big career all over the world. Yeah. Success is knowing that I, I serve an art properly. It's not about, you know, 15 minutes of fame, it's about serving an art.